to show you a new feature that's rolling out to Google Meets. As you can see, I've already started a Meet, and my student has already joined. I've got one student in the class here. And I have the ability now to start a whiteboard that all my students can see. So I'm going to go down here to the three dots, and I'm going to say, Whiteboard, open a new Google Jam. I'm going to say, Start a new whiteboard. And what's going to happen here is it's going to ask me how I want to share this whiteboard with the students. So by default, it has you sharing it with the entire class, which is just one person at this point, in a way that they can view it but not interact with it. I could change that to let them actually edit it or interact with it with me, and there's some, chance, there's some reasons you may want to do that. Uh, I can also just set it up so that anyone at Gaston County Schools can view it. But I'm going to stick right now for uh, share with one person that's uh, this, my class. And I'm going to say send. Now, for me, this Jamboard opens up right here. And I've got uh, my whiteboard. Now, if I had two monitors, what I'd probably do is move this over to the other monitor so I could watch the faces of my students in the background. Um, for the students, they are going to see this Jamboard pop up here under my class and attachments. And if they go there and click on it here, it will open up so that they can see it. And the way this thing works, and I've hidden mine, so I'm going to go grab it and pull it back up to the front. But the way this Jamboard works is um, it's a whiteboard. You've got a pen tool here that you can write with. You can click here, bring up different colors and different size pens. Um, you can also erase the Jamboard if you want. Uh, you've got the ability to add sticky notes. This is a cool thing to do if you have your students join with edit access. They can write their own sticky notes. And when you save them, that sticky note attaches to the board. Um, you can also add pictures in from your Google Drive or from Google Image Search. So here I'm going to go down and find a, uh, find a picture to add to this. Here's a jar. So, um, you know, you can do a lot of the same things you can with most whiteboards. You can draw shapes here. You can also add text boxes. And you can draw a laser pointer, which goes away after a few seconds, which is good to call attention to different things. And all of this appears live for your students as you see it. If you want to, you can start new pages up here. Uh, you can also clear everything out or change the background to a grid dots or a couple other different things. Um, this is the web interface of Jamboard. If you have an iPad, the iOS app will let you do even more. It'll let you pull um, Google Sheets and uh, slides and docs in. But uh, this works really good if you just need a simple whiteboard. Another way you can use this is if you have a flip Chromebook or an iPad, you can actually open the Jam up on that device and draw on it there with your stylus and it will appear to the students. So at any point, I can close my Jamboard out and go back to my discussion, um, and it will be there. You may have noticed uh, when I told it to create a Jamboard that it gave me an option to choose from Drive. That's because that Jamboard I just created will appear in Drive, and it will have the name of whatever your, um, whatever your meet is. So I called this one My Class, so it had My Class and the date. So you can go and find the jams for particular days. And the kids have them as well, so they can go back and look at the notes that you've taken in a particular class for a particular day based on the name of it and the date. So that's uh, the Google Jam integration that's now built into Google Meet.